guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. I just wanted to show you the soundproof barrier I have in my room. So my door is padded. So I have these, you know, things that you carry drinks around with. Um, and then I have it in each of the little cavities I have stuffed with um, foam. And so I have the same thing happening on this wall, except all around I have this three inch foam all the way around so I just took off some of the paneling so that you guys can see so yeah I mean um, if you guys have any suggestions as to how I can you know make this a little bit better and then behind the door I have these kind of like angled foam deflectors I guess so if you close the door The air conditioning sound goes away, but my son's room is right next door, and so he can be a little loud with his music. And you're hearing the birds outside. They're really loud today. My my daughter just built a little tree house in there. It's so cute, and you can kind of see there's a tree blooming white flowers. Yeah, so. Any ideas would be great. All right, cheers. Hi guys, I also just wanted to show you something really cool about my website that I just added. Um, so there's a remote viewing area. So if you click on this tab, it'll take you to this window. Um, so if you know anything about remote viewing, um, basically it's an ability to uh, see things remotely, right? So um, what you want to do is empty your mind, um, try and sit for about five minutes in, still, in stillness. Um, if any thoughts come into your mind, just dismiss them and let them go. If you get any vivid images that pop into your mind, let those images go as well. So um, when you're ready, then um, basically you click this button below, which is Target and it'll take you to an, another window and so here I have all the targets and behind each of these letters is an image so I mean if you want you can start with the first one over here um, so what you want to do is you know copy down uh, the letters and then sit with that for a little while what what feelings come to mind what vibrations do you get? Do you see or taste, a, you know, anything? And so after another five minutes, um, then you start to draw whatever, you know, sensations come to mind. So if you see a flash of silver, like a, you know, um, kind of like, let's say a triangle silver color, um, you go ahead and draw that, okay? So if, you know, vivid images come into your mind, those are not um, what you want, okay? What you want is a, a sensation or a hint. And so, yeah, um, and when you're ready, all you do is scroll over the letter and it will um, show the image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show the first one. Oh, wow, okay, so that's kind of crazy what I saw was a flash of silver, right? And so I didn't know it was a wing, but I, I saw that image in my mind. So there you go. Yes, I did choose all of these. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of biased to it, but I mean, I, I, I made this part of the website about two weeks ago. So I honestly, I, I don't remember anything. Um, so if you go under remote viewing again, there's a shapes uh, test, a color test, and an element test. 
Um, <clears throat> so basically, you just want to guess, <clears throat> sorry, what is behind, whoa, uh, what is behind these question marks? Okay, so it could be any one of these images, right? So you, you got the idea there. Um, that was a diamond. Okay, and so the same goes for colors and for elements. So yeah, test your remote viewing ability and um, I think I might put a little comment section um, below on the main page if you wanted to comment. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, cheers. Welcome Divine Masculine. Uh, so this is going to be a Yang reading for um, May the 23rd until the 30th. Hope you're all doing well. Um, so I think I'm going to do a split crossroads. Um, and I think I'll just use my cards for that. So I'll pull the cards first and then I'll go through the positions. Okay. So this is how feels about himself, how he feels about the feminine, um, what he wants the feminine to know, what's at the heart, uh, what is how he feels about the relationship, uh, what's the challenge, and what's the advice. Oh, went off camera there. Let me just do that. Okay. Okay, so the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's look at the overall energy from the bottom of the deck. So, wow, um, so the judgment card, Grand Awakening. So the masculine is realizing his power, that um, most of his life he's been living an illusion. Um, you know, he's been putting a lot of work and effort forth into gaining material wealth. You know, he's building up the ego and then he realizes that the ego has been in control all of this time and so he's disconnecting from that energy. Um, he's seeing the truth. Uh, this could also mean that he's making a judgment call, but this is hearing the calling, grand awakening major illumination and this also points to new beginnings so the chains have come off it's such a freeing energy to be in all right so just adjust the light a little bit i've added an extra light here because the twin flame reading was a bit dark but this is creating a lot of glow isn't it oh Oh, sorry, I should have been playing this with this before I started. Okay, well, let's start. So, how does the masculine feel about himself? The hermit. So, this is somebody who's unchained, again, talking about that energy over there. Um, you know, feeling free, unencumbered by the 3D reality. He is on a spiritual journey. Um... He is acquiring wisdom, um, you know, he's thinking about philosophical questions, why are we here, what are we meant to do, and he could also be a light bearer as well, guiding others out of darkness. So the masculine is detached, but it's a very healthy detachment, a lot of spiritual growth. place where it's not so reflective. Maybe I'll just let it lean forward. Yeah, what the heck. Okay, so how does he feel about the feminine? <laughs> Four of Wands. Cool. So this card is showing up in the near future for the masculine in the twin flame reading. Um, now the extended reading, we saw this card showing up on the feminine side twice in the future. So we had a synchronicity happening on both sides uh, in the near future. So he wants commitment. He feels that she is his twin flame. Um, he feels this deep, loving soul connection. 
and the universe is com confirming that yes this is a twin flame connection uh, the person you th you're thinking of is your true love <laughs> sorry guys I suck okay uh, so what does he want the feminine to know Aww, heart chakra again so in extended reading the heart chakra showed up in the past position for the final outcome so he wants the feminine to know that the love that he feels for her is pure um, and it's unconditional it's uh, just love 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 oh my god it's so beautiful I was a little worried that the reading wouldn't be reflected or repeated um, you know for the individual reading the yang reading um, there was so much love coming from the twin flame reading on the masculine side and we see those exact same cards coming through beautiful what's in the heart space okay eight of swords so um, we felt this energy coming from the masculine uh, in the extended reading as well so you know it also showed up as a king of swords in the heart space so this is somebody who's locked out mentally it's an oppressive energy coming from the outside but so the feminine is locking him out emotionally or you know it's in the heart space so emotionally and mentally so you know you believe that you're locked out this is just an illusion right so that's what you're enchaining yourself from you you you're feeling unconditional love for the feminine but you you're feeling blocked I mean, so that's just not true you can free yourself so how does he feel about the relationship six of swords so this energy was definitely felt on the feminine side she had the five of swords seven of swords so he feels that the feminine has probably walked away um, you know this is retreating from negative energy it is moving to calmer waters it is um, disconnect in this image we have him you can't see very well but there's masculine walking away in the background the feminine is kind of turned away as well uh, so in terms of relationship there's a distance there's definitely a distance there Okay, so um, challenge, kindness, compassion, the strength card. Again, this is an energy coming from the feminine side. So the challenge is to tame the beast within, to create an environment that is safe to express your emotions, to open up. Okay, so um, you know, it's kind of like the universe is saying here, you know this is the answer is to be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others you know there's a you know a feeling like okay she's locking me out so I'm gonna react right so don't react um, just continue to give unconditional love okay so the advice is a <laughs> nice six of Pentacles so this card show up, showed up in the past it showed up um, as the final outcome uh, for the twin flame reading so it's a repeated energy okay so again this is what I was saying right be receptive be open share yourself the universe you know is giving a clear message here and that's what you end up doing you know so this is a cohabitation card as well so this is coming together in 3d reality um, yeah, but it's re reciprocation, big time. So go for it. Let go of any fears. Let go of um, any thoughts of feeling trapped or held back, right? And just you know, create that environment, that gentle environment, and go for it. All right. So I'm gonna pull one card as the final message from the universe. I'm kind of liking this Call It Baron Reed Good Tarot, so let me just pull one card from that. And of course I'm going to do the extended reading, so I'll pull three cards per position. Ace of Earth, Ace of Pentacles is the message from the universe. 
So what I saw immediately was the masculine energy, right? Being represented as this deer, um, you know, the antlers haven't fully developed, like they're not that big crown that, um, you know, adult deers have. So it feels like there's growth there, but there's this respect, there's this dignity that I'm feeling strongly with that. So let me read that for you. Uh oh, what did I do with the book? Oh, shoot. Is right in front of my face? No. Okay, so, oh, here it is. Okay, just want to make sure you guys can see that, all right? Okay, so, the Ace of Earth. Prosperity in its purest form. Concrete results in the physical re our physical world. Abundance made manifest. I recognize the many forms of abundance and, pl and plenty, and I align myself with success. I can generate gold from the resources I have at my fingertips. I make an impact. The essence of prosperity is taking form in the material world. Okay, so prosperity, I think that's really talking about that Six of Pentacles that keeps showing up in, you know, over and over again. Um, having this flow of abundance coming into your life and wanting to share that, you know, and so, yeah, and this is also represents a firm start in the 3D reality. Um, it's a windfall card. Uh, it represents being given a gift and then using that gift to create abundance. Um, so it's a, also a seed of intention being planted. So the universe is saying, you know, take that gift that you've been given and grow it. Right? It's time. That's what I'm feeling. Okay? So I do hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helped, and I'm sending massive love your way. All right, cheers.